Hey y'all, we're having a blessed evening. It's so good to see you. Right now in the sunshine state of Florida, it has been raining most every day. We've been having summer thunderstorms every afternoon and evening, and it just seems like it rains a lot more than we see the sunshine. But that's how it is this time of year, and we can't stop it, and the crops are better for it because everything's so green and lush, and it truly is beautiful how God's creation just grows and flourishes and how God sends the rain to water the things that need water, all the plants and trees and flowers. It truly is wonderful. It's a blessing, the rain, even though it makes it hard to go out and do yard work or get things done outside without getting wet, but it's still a blessing. Sometimes in life, though, we encounter storms that aren't so much of a blessing. Just recently, I heard someone say they felt like a black cloud was following them around everywhere they go and then nothing ever turns out right. Sadly, that's how many people live their lives. They live as if a cloud is hanging over their head and how nothing will ever go their way. Yet they need to put their trust in Jesus Christ. For Jesus said in John 16, In this world you will have troubles, but take heart because I have overcome the world. We're going to face trials and tribulations in life. We're going to face storms that we don't think we'll ever make it through. But when we put our trust in Jesus Christ, he will help us because he's already overcome every storm we will ever face. The Bible says that God is our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in times of trouble. No matter what you're facing tonight, remember that God is your refuge. Be encouraged. Know that he will be with you in the storm, just as Jesus was with the, was with the disciples in the storm they encountered on the lake. In the book of Luke chapter 8 beginning in verse 22 it says one day jesus said to his disciples let us cross to the other side of the lake so they got out into the boat and started out as they sailed across jesus settled down for a nap but soon a fierce storm came down on the lake the boat was filling with water and they were in real danger the disciples went and woke him up shouting master master we're going to drown when jesus woke up he rebuked the wind and the raging waves. Suddenly the storm stopped and all was calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Jesus is asking you the same question tonight. Where is your faith? Do you have faith that Jesus will calm your storm? Are you battling a storm, whether it be mental or emotional or physical or financial or some other something that has you bound in its grips and you just can't seem to move on? You can't seem to find joy in life because you feel like you're just stuck in this cloud and stuck in this storm where it just rains all the time in a figurative manner. If that's you tonight, look to Jesus Christ for strength. The Bible says we should fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We can't be looking at the world or other people or organizations or even churches for help in our time of need because only God can truly help us. People can encourage us and pray for us and do different things to assist, but God is the one who can provide true divine intervention. God is the one we should be looking to when we face a storm, when we're facing some kind of troubles in life. Many people say, well, if you're a Christian, isn't it just life at better roses? No, it's not. Because this world is imperfect. There's nothing perfect on this planet. No person, no thing. Because this world is just full of imperfection. Jesus Christ is the only perfect man to walk to the face of this earth. That's why we need to look to him for guidance. Look to him for strength. Look to him for hope. Jesus is our only lasting hope in this world. We have to rely on him. We can't rely on things of this earth because one day all the things of this earth will pass away. But the Bible says that God's word stands forever. And we need to read God's word and meditate on the scriptures and know that he will give us guidance and wisdom. For whatever season you find yourself in now, God's word has the answer. God will give you strength. He will give you guidance if you look to him. Now, if you just think, well, that's just nice. It was good for my grandparents, but it's not, it won't work for me. I, I'm, I'm in this bad place. I, everything's negative. Everything's bad. It's, nothing ever good could come out of this. But the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Do you love God? And are you called according to his purpose? I know for a fact that I love God with all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my soul, every one thing within me. I love him with all of me. I give my life to him because I want to 
devote my life to sharing the gospel, to devote my life to telling people about His amazing love. And I know that I'm called according to His purpose because we all have a purpose. God has a master plan for each one of us. But it's up to us to seek His will for our lives, to look to Him, to seek His guidance. Because only He knows where we should go, what we should do. We don't know. We might think we know, but we may have it all wrong. But if we look to him, he will lead us down the path that leads to life everlasting. And that's the path that I'm traveling on. And I pray that you are also traveling down that narrow road that leads to eternal life in heaven. Because the Bible says that only a few people will find that road. And there's a wide, broad road of destruction that many people will find. And we need to be making sure that we're taking time to tell people about the saving grace of Jesus Christ, our Lord, introducing them to our very best friend, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, so that they can also travel down that wonderful, narrow road that leads to life everlasting in heaven. It is our job as Christians. It's our duty. We've been called to share the gospel. Mark 16, 15 says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. It's not something reserved for just pastors or missionaries. It's a calling place in all of our lives for those of us that have put our trust in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. It's something we should do everywhere we go, whether we're at the grocery store, an airport, restaurant, just walking down the sidewalk, taking our dog for a walk. It doesn't matter where we are because God will give us divine appointments to talk to people. Are we sharing the hope that we have in Jesus Christ? Are we sharing this wonderful gift of salvation with other people? Are we telling them they don't have to live in a cloud? They don't have to live in a storm? They don't have to live a life where it seems like darkness is all around them? Because like the song I wrote says, when you're in the sunset, there's sunshine awaiting you. It doesn't matter what you're facing tonight because Jesus Christ will bring light to your darkness. If you're look, thinking you're in the side of a tunnel and you feel like it's just dark in there and you can't see the end of the tunnel, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, Hold on to the hand of Jesus Christ because he will be the light with you inside that tunnel. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He will never let you walk in darkness. He will lead you down the path of light if you just look to him. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Don't look to the world. Don't look to other things, but keep your eyes on Jesus. He will be your light. He will clear the storm. He will calm the storm. He will say, peace, be still. And the winds and waves must obey him. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Don't walk around in the cl dark clouds thinking like everything's bad, everything's so awful. Nothing ever turns out right. Because the book of Philippians chapter 4 beginning in verse 4 says, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considered in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. The Apostle Paul tells us in the book of Philippians, we don't have to be sad and all this depressed all the time. We should be rejoicing always. And notice this, he says, always be full of joy in the Lord. It's not just a joy like, oh, you're happy because you're on vacation. You're happy with your family. You're happy to have a nice meal. It's joy in the Lord. It's a joy we can have even when times are hard. It's a joy we can have when we're sad, when we're tired, when we're discouraged. We can still have joy in the Lord. Because he will give us strength. He will give us joy if we look to him. The Bible says, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Hold on a little longer. Don't give up. Don't give in to depression. Don't give in to discouragement. But be encouraged and know that you will have joy in the Lord if you will just look to him and put your trust in Jesus Christ. Beginning in verse 6, it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. I love the translation that says that he will give you peace that passes all understanding. It's a kind of peace that we cannot comprehend with our human minds. It's a peace that can't be found on this earth. You can be on the most beautiful beach or up in the most relaxing mountain setting, but this peace that the Bible talks about cannot be found no matter what landscape you find yourself in. It doesn't matter what, lo what location you're at. Because this peace can be found even when it seems like peace is unavailable to you. 
This peace beyond understanding can be found by the bedside of a loved one who's sick. It can be found when you're looking at your bank account and there's not much there. It can be found when your children have gone astray and you're worried about them and praying that they will come home and return to the Lord most of all. It's a peace that can be found even when you're grieving over the loss of a loved one. I can tell you nearly about 13 years ago almost, my dad and I lost my mom and we were on vacation. She had a heart attack and she was there one moment, gone the next. We sat by my bedside of my mom. She'd already gone to eternity, but we sat there next to her body and sang living by faith. We had peace beyond understanding. Even in the most cloudy days of life, even when it seems the sun will never, ever shine again, God will restore your joy. Hold on to the nail-scarred hand of Jesus. Jesus loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. He will give you joy. The sun will shine again. So if you're looking for sunshine, remember that even in the sunset, there's sunshine awaiting you. I invite you to go to cwrmusic.org where you can watch more Be Encouraged videos. You can also listen to songs my dad and I wrote in free of charge. You can listen to the song I mentioned before that I wrote titled, There's Sunshine Awaiting You. In addition, you can re read a free chapter of my first book of the same title, as well as my brand new book, Worshiping God in Spirit and in Truth. You can also read and print off gospel articles. My dad and I love to hand these out to people at grocery stores, restaurants, airports, wherever we go. We love, want to tell people about the saving grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. We want to tell people about the hope we have in Jesus Christ. If you can print these off free of charge, please do so. Share them with the people that you see every week that we don't have the opportunity to speak to. But print them off, read them, and pass them on. And encourage someone that you know in your workplace, or your school, or neighborhood. Wherever God leads you, share the gospel everywhere you go. Make the most of every opportunity that you have to tell someone about Jesus Christ and His amazing love. I pray these resources will be an encouragement to you and those you share them with. Have a blessed evening. Remember that Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. Then remember also that he was the light of the world and he will bring sunshine to your cloudy days. So put your trust in Jesus Christ forevermore. God bless you.